Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video I'll be showing you how you can use URL file attacks to gain access. So I'm going to use this vault machine from PG practice. So I'll show you what I've done here. So I completed my nmap scan. So if I do plus nmap TCP scan, you can see there are several ports here which are like completely useless like a DNS, I was not able to get anything. Kerberos, I used Kerbrut and tried to brute force some users, but there is no point actually here. RPC, um, I did some enumeration on our, using the help of RPC client and I'll try to make video on that in few days. So I didn't find anything useful here in the RPC client uh, through the help of uh, by enumerating RPC. LDAP, I used LDAP dump and LDAP domain search, stuff like that. Nothing worked for me. And port 445 is something that's cool uh, because there is something like I have, there is a share called as document share, uh, which has like write permissions. So that's the only thing. And there is also the syswall share, uh, which I was not able to list or get any, do anything there. So I think I have like less permissions there. So that's one thing. And there are some other random ports, this 5985 port, which is like HTTP, which looks as HTTP. I tried this dirt busting and stuff, but nothing worked. So what you can do? So I already covered URL file attack on my channel. So you can go there and check that out. So URL file attack is nothing but you try to upload at, dot, at the rate, like, like a dot URL file into a share. And if someone tries to just view that, like they don't even need to open that file. They, if they just view that, it's gone so it's like a forced llmnr poisoning so you'll get their hash and the, their game is over so i made a detailed video on url file attack to uh mention the theory and stuff behind that so you can go there and check that out this is just like a practice kind of thing so if i go to this file so uh sorry i think it's an exploit so i have this at the rate hack dot url so if i do the scat at the rate hack.url you can see my ip is kind of changed so let's do it once again so this is like it's like an internet shortcut so uh, i'm just forcing this to my ip my attacker's ip that's the simplest way to explain that control s and control x so if i do cat at the rate again you can see my ip and this ip matches so let's open a new tab let's do smb client okay hyphen l so let's list the shares let's do some basic uh, smb enumeration what i was talking about uh i go to this ip i just hit enter because i don't know anything here so you look something like document share is something that looks interesting so let's try that uh, document share so yes i do have something here uh, i do have list permission i have do, i do have some permissions but i cannot i there is nothing here nothing useful here so one more thing i checked was like i checked whether this share the files connected to the share are getting reflected on that particular web page which is shown on like the 5985 port or something but no it's not connected so if this is just a share maybe some kind of like a dummy share kind of thing so can't do anything so uh, in the new tab i'm going to open the responder sudo responder it's on my tu and zero interface so that's how it is so now this acts like my responder so any communication that's going to come here is going to be shown here and i'm going to upload this at the rate act.url file and i'm going to exit here let's see we got a hash here so what happens here is like this particular share has some kind of an automated user or some kind of user which is keep on checking that every time so uh, what happened here is like when i uploaded this at the rate hack.url so when that particular user uh, this particular user tried to access that so not even accessing in the sense like he doesn't even need to open that just viewing that it automatically loads that file and uh, i'll be getting this forced llmnr which gives me the ntlmv2 hash of that particular user okay who's trying to access that and there were some situations where you can even get access to uh, your uh, to the administrator accounts as well so there was one ctf that i uh, watched on youtube like walkthrough 
where the initial access itself is like privilege escalation and stuff so this is a cool way to look for like if you have so many interfaces like if you have so many ports and protocols uh, which has like a lot of attack surface but you can do anything and if you are uh, on a windows machine okay it, it may not be uh, active directory machine it can also work on windows machine so keep that in mind so if you have a writable permission to a share i would suggest you to upload this at the rate hack dot url and start your responder so it may give you some credentials so i think that is it this is a short video and in the next video i'll try to cover this gpo abuse functionality how you can use the gpo abuse to gain your privilege escalation from a normal user to an administrator or a local administrator so thank you for watching this video till the end if you do have some suggestions for the next videos do let me know in the comment section below this is satvik signing off and also i'll leave the link for all the resources in the description below so make sure to check them out thank you bye